On the day when Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina was meeting her Indian counterpart Narendra Modi in New Delhi, a huge consignment of Hilsa arrived in Kolkata markets from Dhaka. As a gesture of friendship, Bangladesh has allowed export of 2,450 metric tons of the pricey fish ahead of the Durga Puja. The country had placed a ban on Hilsa exports a decade ago. The Bangladeshi PM later said that friendship can solve any problem. On Tuesday, both countries signed seven treaties: a memorandum of understanding on withdrawal of water from the border river Kushiara in Assam was among them, while the others focused on bilateral cooperation in diverse sectors. Prime among these was an MOU on training Bangladeshi railway personnel in training institutes of the Indian Railways, apart from another one on collaboration in IT systems such as freight operations information system and other applications. The two nations also signed MOUs on a training and capacity building program for Bangladeshi judicial officers in India, along with cooperation in science and technology, space technology, and the public television sector. Along with the signing of the pacts, PM Modi said that PM Hasina agreed on extending connectivity and trade infrastructure between the two countries to further connect the two economies. Concerned over China announcing a slew of infrastructure financing and construction projects in Bangladesh, India also focused on key high-stakes projects being built by it in the neighboring country. Both countries inaugurated the first unit of the Maitri Super Thermal Power Project in Bangladesh. PM Modi said that the inauguration would raise the availability of affordable electricity in that country. Being constructed under India's concessional financing scheme, the project is set to add 1320 megawatts of electricity generation capacity in the neighboring country. The first unit of the project was successfully synchronized last month. Furthermore, business tycoon Gautam Adani, who also met Hasina, will supply power from his upcoming project in Jharkhand to Bangladesh starting the 16th of December. Meanwhile, PM Modi also lauded the recently constructed Rupsha Rail Bridge, part of the rail line being built to connect the upcoming Mongla port in Bangladesh's south to Khulna, the neighboring country's third largest city. Both are being financed under a concessional line of credit provided by India. The total project is set to cost 389 million dollars. PM Modi said that India was currently the largest market in Asia for Bangladeshi exports and that the two countries would soon begin talks on the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement or SEPA. Fast tracking the SEPA has been a key policy objective for Dhaka ever since Hasina approved it in August. Preliminary joint studies suggest that the deal is expected to raise Bangladeshi exports to India twofold and expand the country's GDP by 2%. PM Modi's mention of the SEPA in the joint press statement is an indication that New Delhi has accepted Bangladesh's request to accord it priority. Bangladesh exports only 1.9 billion dollars worth of goods to India, but its imports from the country stand at 16.15 billion dollars. While many areas of convergence have been found, water sharing has proved to be a thorny issue as both the Ganges and the Brahmaputra enter Bangladesh from West Bengal and Assam. Access to water from the Tista River, which remains important for irrigation in large swaths of Bangladesh, remains a hotly contested issue that Dhaka continues to raise with India. Regarding the uh, Kushiara River Treaty, where where uh, there is a problem in uh, insular district that is known as the Tamabil region, uh, Tamabil, and where a uh, lot of problems of flood and uh, other things uh, take place. Now, uh, by this visit, uh, the Kushiara Water Treaty has been uh, uh, finalized between India and Bangladesh, and I'm sure this would address the problem of Assam, uh, Southern Assam people as well as the Silhat people in Bangladesh. There are a number of incidents in the past also where uh, Bangladesh has uh, uh, cooperated with India regarding the uh, defense uh, issues. They did not have any kind of defense agreements uh, uh, with uh, with uh, with China except uh, uh, in 2002. Uh, a defense umbrella agreement was signed during Khalidaja period. Prime Minister Hasina's visit is not like a milestone, uh, but it is an important visit, right? It's part of regular engagement between what you know New Delhi has already identified as the most important partnership in South Asia, and that regular engagement lends itself like some significance, right? Uh, 2017, 2019, 2020, you had like a growing 
sort of high level diplomatic defense political economic so on and so forth even like the base of the relationship which is the socio cultural is also you know expanding in scope even though seven mous are being signed at the at the sort of geo strategic uh, regional trans regional level um, you know the strategic community in india or foreign policy community in india and bangladesh always feel like there, there is a gap we are seeing a, a, a political and diplomatic engagement that is growing at an appreciative rate now there still remains you know um, the the strategic threat of china and the sort of threat it poses to india's position in south asia i would say that at a political level i the 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 commonalities between india and bangladesh we keep them together but i would say uh, where the defense security is of concern uh china will be playing an increasing role in the region via bangladesh while no high profile pacts may have been signed during the present visit the india bangladesh relationship appears to be on solid footing ties will only grow from here onwards especially if the two governments can move quickly to reap the benefits of a substantive economic partnership agreement if you like this video share it and subscribe to business standard For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.